drier, less humid air gradually spilling into South Central Texas, and we're going to feel the impacts, particularly that lack of humidity overnight tonight, and the humidity is going to drop even more, much drier air tomorrow, and it's going to last for an extended period of time all the way through the weekend and into next week. Primarily, it's going to impact morning low temperatures. We're talking mid 60s locally tomorrow morning. Parts of the hill country could dip into the upper 50s briefly at sunrise tomorrow. In San Antonio, sunrise 66 degrees. By noon, we're already up to 84, then 91 the high temperature with very low humidity later in the day. And that north wind is going to stay intact and just reinforce the lack of mugginess. I wish we could drum up some rain, but unfortunately we're looking at just sunshine with the lower humidity. But I guess if we can't get rain, at least it's going to feel a little nicer outside. Mornings in the mid 60s for a long stretch, and that's something we haven't had since mid May afternoons. However, still making it into the lower 90s. Hurricane Helene likely to become a major category four hurricane by tomorrow as it sets its sights on the Big Bend region of Florida. That's roughly Panama City, Apalachicola, eastward to Horseshoe Beach and the peak storm surge. According to the according to the National Hurricane Center, the level of water above ground could get up to 10 to 20 feet in that Big Bend region of Florida. We'll keep you updated.